Hey friend, in today's watercolor tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching how to paint a watercolor wave. Without further ado, let's get painting. For today's watercolor workshop, I'm gonna be using Prussian Blue, Viridian Green, Cobalt Turquoise, and Paints Gray. I'll also be using some white gouache for some details with our wave. And then I'm also going to be using a size six, size two, and size 12 Princeton round brush. To get started, I am going to take some Viridian Green and I would like to just kind of do some loose washes of color. I'm starting with our lightest color first. And I'm just painting in kind of a swooping C curve shape. And it's going about an inch above the bottom of the page here and kind of swooping slightly upward at an angle and then the C curve is going to kind of just go almost halfway to the width of the painting here. And while that is still wet, I am going to take a little bit of cobalt turquoise and just apply a few areas of that color, allowing it to just loosely bleed out. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian Blue and just do a few areas of Prussian Blue, just kind of loosely streaked and bleeding out. Next up, I'm going to do just a really pale wash up towards the top, just in the first inch and a half or so. And I'm just gonna do a really light wash of Prussian Blue. And I'm just dragging this blue just slightly deeper or a little bit more downward towards the right area. And while that Prussian Blue is still wet, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Cobalt Turquoise and mix that into the sky as well. Just a little bit. While this wave here is still slightly wet, I wanna kind of get some highlights in there so I'm going to take a dry size six brush and just lift some of the pigment up, applying good pressure with my brush and just doing some of these kind of C curve highlights. And I'm just tapping my brush on my paper towel in between lifting some of the color. Okay, so while this area kind of sets here, I'm gonna take some water on my size six brush and I just want to kind of gently buff out this transition line between the Prussian Blue and the white area. All right, 
right, next I'm gonna take just a little bit of paints gray, a very light muted tone of paints gray, and I wanna just start to kind of blot some shading here of the whitewash of the wave using the belly of my size six brush. All I'm doing is taking kind of a drier brush and just applying a little bit of this kind of loose dry brush technique. And just keeping it super loose. Next, I'm going to take some of my Prussian Blue and just water it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna add a few touches of the Prussian Blue on the inside of the C curve. And I'm just doing really loose brush strokes here, not overthinking it. I'm going to do a little bit of touch of Prussian Blue in this lower area towards the bottom right. And then up towards the top here, I'm just going to do a few more touches of this kind of dry brush Prussian Blue. just going to do a few more touches of it across towards the top. Some areas I'm going to have a little bit more concentrated in color. All right, next I'm gonna take a little bit of cobalt turquoise this time and just apply some inside the wave a little bit, just as a highlight of a bright blue. And I'm just gonna buff it out with some water. All right, I'm just going to layer a little bit of Prussian Blue mixed with some Payne's Gray. I want a little bit of a deeper shaded blue. And I'm just going to add just a few deeper shadows in our wave. Just doing some really loose, kind of abstract, deeper brush strokes or darker brush strokes that are just super loose. And this is just going to add a lot of pretty contrast to the wave here. I 
I'm just adding it in a few areas, not all over, but kind of tipping off of the C curve of the wave and just kind of coming downward. I'll add just a few touches up towards the whitewash at the top. Just going to add a touch of cobalt in this whitewash area. Okay, next up, I want to take some of our white gouache here, and I just want to do a few highlights of the white gouache where it meets the sky, just to texturize some of the whitewash here and give it a little bit more detail where it meets the blue. I'm just gonna have a few pops of white kind of be extending upward. And then I'm going to add just a touch of the white gouache towards the top of the C curve just a little bit. And then I'm just going to add just a few pops of gouache just to stand out as a highlight overlapping on just a few of our shaded areas. Now using our size 2 brush, I want to start to kind of build some of our shading. I'm going to start with some Prussian Blue, and I just want to carry on with kind of that C-curve texture, starting towards this edge here in the left corner, and I am applying some of the color with a good amount of water, and then slowly kind of buffing it out, using kind of a little bit of a dry brush texture as the brush starts to kind of wear off of some of the water. So you can kind of see I'm, I'm getting a little bit of that dry brush texture, leaving some gaps so that way the other lighter colors can pop from behind. I'm going to use just a touch of Payne's Gray as well to just add a little bit more depth to this blue. I'm just kind of layering it in that same kind of C-curve kind of shape. And I'm just going to continue to kind of build this shading with this color combination of Prussian Blue with just a small hint of the Paints Gray.
All right, next I just wanna take some more cobalt turquoise and just kind of add a few pops of color with the cobalt as a highlight. I'm just kind of lightly, loosely texturizing with the cobalt. And then doing that same kind of dry brush technique just to kind of give it a little bit more of a loose texture. I can even bring some of it to kind of add a little bit of dimension to the whitewash just above. I'm just gonna add a few more pops of it in the water below. Okay, so I would like to add just a few white highlights into the water itself. 
and I'm just gonna take some white gouache here and I just want to do some super loose brush strokes just mimicking some kind of sea foam not perfectly in that C curve brush stroke kind of technique, but kind of just a little bit more jagged than that. Allowing some of the blue to pop through, kind of like a just really loose whitewash. I'm just going to add a few pops of the white up towards the top here. Next, I just want to give our wave just a few pops of a deeper shaded color because it can kind of get sometimes watered down as it dries. So I'm just going to take that Prussian Blue kind of Payne's Gray blend and just add a few really just popping areas of shading just in some smaller streaks using my size 2 brush. I'm just gonna add a few pops of it and then just slightly buff it out. Also want to make this edge of the wave a little bit looser so I'm just giving it a little bit more of a texture on the surface Then I'm just going to kind of buff out some of that blue paints gray blend and just add a little bit more texture and shading to our whitewash area here. Just adding a few flecks of it using the tip of my size 2 brush. You can even buff it out a little bit with some more water.
just taking a step back here, I feel like my sky kind of lifted in color a little bit too lightly. So, because I want a little bit more of a contrast between the white and the blue of the sky, I just want to darken my sky a bit. So I'm just going to take my size 12 brush and meet it all the way to where the white washes from the white gouache. And I'm just adding a nice saturation of water. And next, I'm just going to take a bit more Prussian blue just to deepen the sky a little bit. And that way, we'll have a greater contrast between the white of the whitewash and the sky above. The key is to make sure that your whitewash has a good amount of water. Otherwise, the Prussian blue won't kind of glide across the paper like you want it to. And you can even tap in just a touch of the Prussian blue with the tip of your brush. Okay, I'm just gonna let this set and dry and then we can peel off our tape. All right, just kidding. I just have one more step I wanna do that I just realized looking out just stepping back from my painting to observe. I just want to add just a few touches of some white gouache with some gaps um, from the border of where the white wash is. I just want a few kind of speckles of the white wash to just be kind of solo and separated from the main white wash. And I'll just do just a few more kind of white speckles. And there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this watercolor wave tutorial landscape. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further watercolor tutorials.